Hey guys, it's me, Talia, back at it again with more shenanigans. Today I was feeling like recreating one of not, it wasn't the very first, but the very first full blown body paint that I ever did. And it was of a creature that I came up with named Mystic, the winter ram spirit, because I have an obsession with ram horns. These were actually the very first horns I ever created. They're not perfect, they're not even, but I thought I could just like recycle them. And I thought why not redo the look, well not really, revise the look and show the difference from when I first started body painting to a little over two and a half years ago to was it two and a half years ago? I th I'm gonna say two and a half, three years ago. I'm not fully sure. But yeah, this is what I came up with. I wanted a nice little simplistic landscape on the chest, simple glam makeup. Because honestly, with the quality of that picture, I honestly do not really know what the eye makeup was. I didn't have lashes on, but I thought adding lashes would add to the beauty of this look. Uh, this was not the original wig I used. I used a dark purple curly one, but I actually looked at that wig not too long ago and um, she's been through some stuff. So I changed it with this cute bob wig. And overall, I actually really like the way the revamp came out. I was trying not to change it too much from the original, but because of the picture quality, quality quality from the first one there were a lot of things that I couldn't fully fully see so what I may do what what I can like the original purple that I used in the makeup I don't have much left like I literally have scraped the Jesus out of it so I went with a what they call mauve but I don't think it's a true mauve but okay so yeah, if you guys want to see how I recreated this lovely look, keep on watching. Also, if you want to, not asking you, but it would be nice if you subscribe to my channel and click that nit nit notification bell so you know when I upload and do my usual shenanigans. Yeah. Keep on watching. Hey, hey, look at me being an absolute goofball and trying to contemplate life <laughs> as always. I think I'm changing music on my phone. Okay, so now I'm going to usual start off with my chest. So first of all, with the original makeup, I did use a dark blue and black but this time I decided to go with a lighter blue and my mauve or what the company calls mauve. So first off, I'm going to start with using the mauve color because I'm trying to do a gradient effect on my chest. So it's going not the mauve, sky. So I'm gonna start with sky and then fade into the black. So, First, I'm just gonna, of course, start off with the jawline and just generally out shape, out shape, outline my jawline and paint down. Sometimes with blue, it can be a tiny bit, just a tiny bit streaky, but it's fine. I went over it a little bit, very little. You don't wanna do too much because you'll actually lift up the paint. So you have to wait until the layer is completely dry. But I wasn't going for a super opaque background. But regardless enough, at the end, at the end result, you can't really see much of my actual skin tone, which is great. But yeah, the I usually always have patchy problems with purples and blues. And of course, I had to do a makeup that has purples and blues. Great job, Talia. Oh well. 
none can be done at this point. So any point at the time you see me looking down, I'm trying to look at the reference picture from the first version of my Ram Spirit, of my Mystic Winter Ram Spirit. But most of it was kind of just made up on the fly only because originally I don't think I had anything on the chest besides the blue and fading into the black and snowflakes. This time I wanted a bit of a landscape which I love how it came out. Super did. Super did. <laughs> so you see that I'm only painting down to a certain point because where I stop is where the black is going to go. So I'm just gonna explain ahead just so I have to do it later. Basically, I start off with the black. It's going to be a harsh line at first, but then afterwards you take a clean, dry brush and you just take the brush and go up and down and you'll start to notice that the blue and the black mix and the harsh line from the black will disappear, which is that's how I really do my gradient effects as far as... Um, blending goes the dry brush method always really helps get rid of the hardness harshness harshness of a line and I think to me I think it kind of runs in the same thing when I do my eyeshadow but I'll explain that later so now I'm just checking to see if there's any like little patches any little holes that just need to be slightly cleaned up so what I did off camera was I painted in the black trees and now you see that I am taking a one of my I think it's the biggest of the thin brushes in that set and taking white paint and I'm just doing this tappy motion effect I think I saw it um where I got this technique from I think her name is Bethany on a uh, YouTube and I saw her do this with a cherry blossom makeup so I was like, you know what, let me give it a try instead of painting every single individual leaf. And I was going for more of a snow effect, so I painted them white. And it is a little time consuming, but the greatest thing about this technique, I actually painted a few of the leaves beforehand and then I painted the branches in. And while the ones that were drying, they didn't dry super opaque, which is great because it kind of gives you a bit of depth of field, if you get what I mean. Like, you'll see some look like they're a little further back than others, if that's like explaining it correctly. And I'm just going in any random order and stuff like that. And I will go back in later with black to kind of just like add some branches to make it look like, oh, it's, it's not flat. You want to make it look like it's realistic. Because it's, you know, on a human body. And now, what am I doing? Ah, I'm fixing the hole in my neck. Sometimes when I'm, like, bending my neck this does tend to happen like the paint starts to separate but it happens it's not it doesn't happen enough but it only only because i'm looking down that's why i need to get a mirror that's like my height when i'm sitting down because i am a pretty tall person so that doesn't happen but it's a simple fix i just paint over it now I'm taking a brush and I'm using the same dry brush method with very, like, because there's not so much water in the white paint, this, this is perfect. So now I'm just painting in clouds. Now with the tiniest bit of product, because there's no water, it's very thick and cream, cream-like, kind of like paint. It gives the illusion of like clouds perfectly instead of drawing them in super solid. So I'm just painting them all over no specific like pattern way rhyme or reason they're not perfect they're not meant to be perfect because clouds don't have a particular shape 
unless I was going for like a cumulus cloud got the other type of clouds I know is cumulus and nimbus and I know the nimbus is the gray ones now I'm taking black body paint and painting in little birdies not super detailed birdies but like the little v-shaped birdies which honestly is a lot easier than painting an actual bird that would probably tack on a dang hour and I was on a time crunch that day <laughs> I had plans with my friend and I was able to bust this out in like two hours. All right, so what I did off camera again was take, remember that splatter effect I did last week? I did the same thing, only using white body paint on the chest to make it look like it's snowing. For my face, I outlined it in black, blended it into the sky blue, and then the main part of my face is purple. I also did my eyebrows off camera so I didn't have to do them during this part because carving out your brows while putting on paint can be a pain. I think I actually did that. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> I also am glad I opted out for contact, but it sucks because I can't wear my glasses at this point because I have paint on my face. And nobody wants those annoying glasses things on their face. Now you see I'm taking the brush in order to do the gradient effect. I'm using the exact same brush that I used to paint whatever color and just mixing them mixing them in i did this i think i did the exact same thing yeah i did do the exact same thing in the first one it was the black fading into the blue and then the main part of my face was purple but now you see i lost some of the blue so i'm kind of like going back in and cleaning up cleaning like making the blue a little bit thicker and then blending gonna blend blend it in with the purple because nobody wants harsh lines harsh lines are just a no bueno in my head <coughs> oh ow mm, painful hiccup and i just bit my cheek lord today's just not my day so pretty I was going for more of a simplistic landscape. If I wanted to do something a little bit more complicated, I would, but not when you're on a time crunch. <laughs> that probably would have been like a five, and a, maybe about a five hour makeup. But, eh, make do with what you can. Now we're starting on the eyeballs, going with, oh, actually, before I do that, Sometimes I like to further define my brows with using eye, my eyeliner, and I did with this one, but I got a little too close and actually accidentally overdrew on my eyebrows, so I actually had to make my eyebrows a little bit thicker than I wanted to. It still looked fine in the picture at the end result, but I was a little pissed off that I did that. So when it comes down to eyeliner, I usually only do it in the front brow and then br blend it in with the eye, uh, charcoal eyebrow pencil. But I ended up having to do the whole brow because I screwed up and I went too far. My bads. Look at my little bowl of dirty, cup of dirty brushes. I tend to put all my dirty brushes in a cup. So I don't have to, I can clean them all when I'm done. Clean my brushes every single time I use them. So off camera, I did my eyes. So I used the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. And I think I used the color Blue Blood to pack on most of the lid. Took a lighter blue and blended out. I forgot which blue it was. And then I used the color diamond to just give that shimmery effect and blend it out, all of that. Then I took a little bit of the Disney ColourPop collection and cut my crease, bam. Then did a very pretty wing eyeliner. Actually, did I do the wing eyeliner yet? No, I don't think I did it yet kind of was all over the place with this. I put 
my eyeliner and my waterline. I believe that is the color Sunrise Blue, one of my favorite eyeliners. Love this eyeliner. I love metallic blue and purple eyeliners or metallic eyeliners in general. The one by NYX is pretty bomb. When I first tried it, I thought it was crap. Legit, I thought it was crap. Now I'm going to take the same colors that I used on the top of my lid, the Blue Monday and I forgot the other one, and just smoked out the bottom lash line just to make things e easier and easier make things look more cohesive and you always got to make the ugly face when you do that I always make that face when I'm putting an eyeliner and when I'm smoking out my bottom lash line I just I don't know what I look like I look silly it's really funny though so now I'm gonna contour just a tiny bit with my sugar pill poison plum it's a very pretty plummy eyeshadow. I would say it's one of my favorite purples because purple, she can be a little streaky. That's just my point. So, off of camera, I'm gonna say it now. I put on my lashes, threw on my wig, put on my horns, and did any finishing touches that I needed to do on my makeup, my lips. I put on the NYX Liquid Suede in Foul Mouth. And I think I used one of their Cosmic Metals. I forgot what color it was. It was a darker blue. And then I put a highlighter over it only because I don't like how sticky the Cosmic Metals are, but that's just my personal opinion. Also, I highlighted with some pretty purple highlighter when my face dries down a bit because you can see it's a little tacky. And yes, this is the completed process or the shenanigans that I do for my makeup. I hope you guys liked it and I hope to see you in my next video with more of my shenanigans. Hope to see you guys in the future. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye! So you may notice that I am not moving my head too much. That's only because these horns are actually quite heavy and the headbands that I originally used for them are extremely flimsy. So if I even move my head too much, these things are going to go flying. But it was my fault because I put way too much aluminum on it. So basically these horns are made from aluminum foil wrapped them in masking tape and then just painted them with regular acrylic and metallic paint and I actually had to fix them because I believe I think it was this one this one actually came off and basically I just re-taped it on and then cover you know just made this a little bit stronger so it doesn't come off as easily as it did the last time i did the same thing with this one this one was already attached but i wanted to just make sure just in case if i'm putting this on and then it falls off i'm gonna be pissed because then i have to paint it again and i don't want to have to paint it again because then i have to wait and do nothing for god knows how long and i got stuff to do I'm a very busy person. No, I'm not who am I lying to, bitch. Please. I really do like the way how this came out. I'm thoroughly surprised. Though I didn't have much, like, literally barely had any memory of this makeup. I went soul searching on my computer to see if I had any other pictures. I literally only had two pictures 
to my name and the Instagram video that I posted of this look to figure out even remotely what I was doing. And like my mom, when I was discussing it with my mom, because my mom named it, she was worried that I was going to change it too much. But I don't think I did. I think I kept in the theme because when I first did the look, I think I had the dark blue fading into black and then I just had a bunch of snowflakes on, but I wanted to do a landscape because I thought it would have been really pretty. Very, very pretty. And then for the face, I knew it was a gradient effect where it was black, blue, then the center of my face is purple, but I did more purple. And then yeah, I don't think I had anything else on my face. I had a lot of highlighter on my face, like, ooh, God, child. I think I must have slattered, slattered, slathered my whole damn face in highlighter. But that's back then. I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I was cute. I thought I was cute. I said I don't know what the hell I was doing. I feel like my mom when she's doing belly dancing, I know this is not the correct thing, but You can tell I'm a very, very bored child, don't you? It's okay. I love what I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs>